Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing. So we got this. I had to save this for last. The last one got currently, you know. Um, but that being Nilius. Check it out, dude. Darkest Nilius Ultra. This is the new Nilius. It looks so, so good. And uh, speaking, actually speaking of which, I gotta do it. Let's see here. Obviously sitting here in... Yeah, sitting here in the HQ. Speaking of Nilius, it's right over there. It's so cool. It's voice actor for Nilius. But yeah, man, so this is the new Nilius Ultra, and it looks so, so great, man. It looks so, so amazing. But yeah, man, so, and it comes with, yo, it comes with the gear. It's got the Baku gear with it. Sick. And look at that work for Nilius. Dude, that is awesome. That looks so great. Uh, but yeah, man, so Scorching Swords is what this Baku gear is called, and I'll show you guys the Baku gear. Obviously, whether this is the first time opening, like, you know, uh, with Baku gear. So, yeah, this is a new mechanic for this second season of Bakugan, and it's just so, so cool. It's a lot like Battle Gear, you know, but also you can see, like, a little bit of Baku Nano things with it, but it's actually, it's really, really sick. You know, I know some people are like, oh, man, Baku Nano. It's, it's really, really cool. I'll show you guys. Um, but, yeah, so... Anyways, time to check out the back. So we have one ultra, two, uh, one ultra, one gear, two cores, one ability card, one character card, instruction sheet, and the rules sheet. All that good stuff. And then all the Bakugan from this wave. So, yeah, I'm guessing they're just going to have some ultras with the gear included. So that's pretty, that's pretty sick, dude. All right, so, yeah, time to open it up. Get that, that off. Get this out of here. Get the cores. Set that down, and then get the cards out of here. All right, and doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I fixed my glove because it's like the strap was coming undone, but it's all good. And also, Spin Master, thank you so much. I mean, I know you're all here, but then like I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make the vid, you know, and I'll probably go around and like tell them afterwards. But like, big thanks for just putting one strip of the plastic in there, you know, because like having a bunch of them makes it like a big pain. And it makes it so much easier to get them out. You know, just having one strip to hold them in, that's understandable. Um, but yeah, and even with these, they don't have like the strips. Or like there might be one strip. So that's really, really, really sick. But yeah, man. All right, so let's get into the cores first thing. So we got a shield and it's plus 100 and oh, wow. Yo, plus 100 Bs. And what this means is the Baku gear it's too less energy to use it. So that's pretty wild, dude. There's too less energy to use it. So you can put that card in there. Obviously, it's like a normal card, and it goes in the deck. Um, so yeah, that's how the Baku Gear cards work. I'm just going to explain it for you guys that don't know. This is like a normal card. It goes in the deck, but then it's actual, like, you know, there's actually effects with it. And it's just like you play it like how you do a normal card, the energy and such, and that's how you play it. But it's for the gear. So... Let's see here, and then this one, uh, plus 100 Bs and plus one for the damage, but also the Baku gear costs one less energy if you land on it. So, um, then we'll get into, I'll get into the card first, so why not? So Nilius Ultra, uh, you know, comes with a shield and a fist, B power of 600, damage of three. If it lands on a shield, plus 200 Bs, so it'll be 800. If it lands on a fist, it's plus two for the damage, so it'll be plus five, you know, that's pretty sick, dude. It looks so, so awesome. Like, that new artwork for Milius on this looks so, so amazing. And now this is the actual uh, gear card. So you need in order to use the gear, you know. But Scorching Swords, the Baku gear. You get plus Shadow Strike when you put it on there. And it's plus 100 Bs, plus 1 for the damage. So this is where this comes into effect. Um, with this. So with this, if it lands on this, it's minus 2 for that. So literally... If you have this card in your hand and you land on this specific core, it will cost you no energy in order to get it out. So you can literally just play it because it'll be minus two for that, you know, minus two uh, energy that you need in order to put it out there. So it'll be zero, literally zeroed out so you could just play it, which is really, really wild, man. I love that they're implementing the cards like that, too. It's so, so cool. But yeah. So next up, we've got Nilius here looking so, so crazy, man. And the heads, I think, are manual. Uh, yeah, the manual heads, but look at this design, man. So much with it. These huge, huge wings, like literally garganoid sized wings, like might even be bigger. And then this huge, this huge tail, you know, like a really, really strong magnet in this for sure. So it'll probably be able to pick up two cores. Um, and then the feet, you got the little feet, 
and also the arms like you know it's got like the little kind of t-rex arms with it looks so sick man all that detail in this one bakugan definite garganoid feels like with this nilia so it might open like sort of the same way with a flip like you know it might do a flip when it opens which that's really really cool um but yeah let's see where's the b power it's got to be on here somewhere i think i saw it. it was on the tail yeah b power is 600 there you go so yeah man like i said overall pretty dang strong so let's see the way you close this is that you fold the heads back then you fold them in and then um fold the legs in put the tail back and then you fold the wings around and then it should like close up completely you know just gotta like mangle it a little bit like a, a little bit obviously just being careful with it and such uh let's see it's mainly like this part right here there we go okay there we go and then got it there we go dude so there is nilius so this is nilius ultra darkest nilius ultra looking so sick the darkest symbol right there you already know boy your boy is a uh, darkest brawler and also aros brawler for life because i got him tatted but yeah and also i've been showing the developers like my tattoos Literally ran out of space again. <laughs> I've been recording that much, guys, but yeah. So there's Dilius looking so, so sick. And I'll show you guys the opening action, and then we're going to get into the gear. So I, I saved the gear for last, obviously, just to explain things about it, you know, before I actually use the gear. So here we go. Three, two, one, and Bakugan Brawl. And yo, all right. So I mean, it opened that way. You know, if you roll with more mustard, then it'll be pretty crazy. But it's got a crazy strong magnet for sure. So if it lands on two, you can pick up two cores pretty easily. It really can. But... Yeah, dude. So, now it's time to get into the actual gear. So, this is the Baku gear. The new thing implemented with this new series, uh, Armored Alliance. So, this one in particular is called Scorching Swords. So, how it is, you see, like, the gear itself right here. And then, also, you see uh, these pegs right here. So, that's, like, obviously, these go into the pegs. And this actually opens, like, how a battle gear used to open, you know. <clears throat> I know some people have been, like, skeptical about it and such, you know. Honestly, back in the day, I wasn't the biggest fan of battle gear and such, but uh, this is really, really sick. So the way it goes is like you see the magnet right there. This has a magnet in it, and yeah, it opens just like that. And I'll actually just close it back up to show you guys again. I'll show you guys like one more time. Uh, let's see. I gotta figure out like how exactly it, it closed. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it folds back like that. But that's what it looks like. Um, and literally opens like a battle gear so see you put it on there and it opens just like that and it fits perfectly man it looks so so good and then these you know a lot like the baku nano with the pegs but you add them on and it actually gives nilius these huge huge claws now you won't be able to like really roll with it you know if you have like all this stuff on there you won't be able to like roll with it it's mainly a thing you add like in the middle of the battle and you don't necessarily need to use it it's like all of the strategy you know if you want to use uh you know the baku gear you can if you don't want to then you know fair enough you don't you just don't have to put like the the baku gear in there and you don't put the, ba the baku gear cords uh well yeah the baku gear card basically the card for the baku gear and the deck so yeah and also i mean it comes with one of them i don't know if you'll be able to get like more baku gear cards in the actual um in the actual like tcg but it's so like in the actual packs you probably will but yeah, I mean, if you have like multiple of them, then you can put those in there, and that's how you can get the Baku gear out there. So yeah, I love how they implemented this, and there's still a big time balance with the game, and it looks so so good, dude. Like, look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look amazing. That looks really, really sick. Nilius looks so sick with, uh, you know, the scorching swords on it. It makes it like totally complete. Just so so much with it, and it looks so amazing, man. But yeah, like I said, that's how the Baku gear work. You don't have to use them. You can use them if you want to. But, uh, you know, you just need the card for the respective gear. If you want to use the gear, then you put the card in the deck. If not, then, you know, you don't have to use the gear. But, yeah, man, anyways, that is it for this epic Bakugan Armored Alliance unboxing on this awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance. Darkest Nilius Ultra, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified of whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl. I'm up out of here.